Understanding the phrase, to keep at bay. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of the English phrase, to keep at bay. This is a common phrase that you might encounter in everyday conversations, books, or movies. So, let's dive in and understand what it means and how you can use it in your own conversations. To understand a phrase deeply, it's often helpful to know where it comes from. The phrase, to keep at bay, has its roots in hunting terminology. It originally referred to the way hunting dogs would corner a prey, such as a boar or a fox, and keep it at a distance, preventing it from escaping. The word, bay, in this context refers to the barking of the dogs. Over time, this phrase took on a more figurative meaning. In contemporary usage, to keep at bay means to prevent something from coming too close or to stop something from affecting you negatively. It is often used in the context of keeping problems, dangers, or unwanted situations away. For example, she keeps her worries at bay by meditating every morning. This shows how the phrase can be used to describe the action of preventing negative emotions or situations from overwhelming a person. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase is used in different contexts. 1. Health. Regular exercise helps to keep illnesses at bay. 2. Workplace. He keeps stress at bay by planning his tasks ahead. 3. Relationships. Good communication can keep misunderstandings at bay. 4. Environment. The levee keeps the floodwaters at bay. These examples show the versatility of the phrase in various aspects of life. When using this phrase, remember it is usually used with negative situations. It's less common to use it with positive aspects. For example, saying, she keeps happiness at bay, would be an unusual usage because it implies avoiding happiness, which is generally a positive emotion. That's all for today's video on the phrase, to keep at bay. I hope you found this explanation useful and that it helps you in understanding and using this phrase confidently in your conversations. Remember, learning a language is all about understanding the nuances of phrases like this. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.